You're in my world now. Welcome. So we're back to playing Cairo. And I do believe we have to solve this puzzle and continue on. Uh, the controls are got to get used to again. Almost feels like I turned too fast with this, but I don't want to turn too slow either. So let's first just... Yeah, that opens all that up. And that did something. So that's open. I can stand here, but nothing happens. No clue how that's supposed to work. But I do know oh, we have light shining. So I need to figure this puzzle out. There are five settings there. I believe there were like nine things on the back wall there as it slowly comes into focus. Uh, that shines there, so if we push this, can we push this is the question. I don't think we can push this, or, well, hmm. No, I don't think we can push this, so I think what we need to do is head up there somewhere and okay we have a passageway of sorts here so let's just climb back up here it's been a while since I've played so I wonder okay it looks like that's showing what's that first symbol that is not the first symbol but it's showing two things going opposite each other. So that's the first thing we're going to look for. Is two curves going opposite each other. I believe it was an internal thing. Oh, and uh, it's way over there to get up there. Of course. So my best guess is whatever we push has to equate to that plus the two semicircles on top kind of thing. None of these match. I'm sure something will match somewhere. Well, okay, no, I'm not sure of that. I'm just hoping <laughs> for that. Oh, yeah, because you can see the symbol right there shining nice and bright, and nothing matches in the slightest. So, we're looking at which symbols, hmm, that one, we'll try that one and see if it actually rotates it all the way around. I'm not sure if it will, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's going to happen at all. Oh, it rotates it all the way around. So, it's now shining there. It'll that's the radius with which it shines. I need whatever's in the middle then. So we need the one that looks like pi. None of them. I guess we climb back up here. It's That's my best guess as to which one will work. Especially since I now know we can push any button and it'll travel any distance. Oh, oh, there's something on that. Oh, okay. We want, uh, we want that bottom symbol, I believe, and the one that looks like pie, or maybe the sailboat. So that's going to put it in the center. Now we want the one that looks like that bottom symbol that I completely forgot. I think it's this second one up here. Which would explain why there are so many options amongst these. Ooh! That did work! That puzzle was a lot easier than I thought. Oh, we have a... Uh, Looks like a teleportation thingamajig over here. 
Yeah, that would explain why there was originally nothing up this, and now there is. Cool. So, where do we go? We... Go outside? Okay, so there's that. Easy access to go back for the what the uh, the secrets missed and it looks like if we go this way we've got some other sort of oh wait this this is a moving platform cool so it looks like we've got something else over here to explore looks like a big city with the oh that's connected up to there Cool. So, what's the deal with this thing? You know, for a second I thought I saw something over there, but it's just a speck on my monitor. Probably. Likely. Either way, this looks pretty imposing. So... What do we have here? You know, for a second I thought that was a loading screen. Oh. Walk into the light, another one comes on. And there's something blue back there. Another portal room. Ooh. Three lights, and we bing everything into existence. Or something. Except for that portal thing that was there to begin with. I'm going to hold off on ma on actually searching for the secrets, but I definitely want to find them before completing this. So, definitely need to know where they're at. If I stumble across them, I stumble across them. But otherwise, I'll be looking them up later, like towards the end of this, so... Oh, door opens! We are in monitor room. I accidentally walk up to that and turn it on. And we have a strange figure that appears to be behind static. Oh, and a door opens with a new symbol. I really should turn down the sensitivity of this. Because it's like, it's another throne chair. Thing. That is weird. Well, that's going to be the key symbol for this area, I'm going to guess. It looks like a sailboat, basically. So, it looks like there's uh, something broken over here. Through from... Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to adjust the sensitivity of the mouse between episodes. Oh, we connect that together. Oh, if we go over here, it breaks apart. How can we get it to stay together? There's a specific spot that seems to be where they converge, but I don't know if it's... Oh, we just had to converge it and let it do its thing, which apparently lit a fire on that throne seat. So what's through this one? Another... Yeah, another one. So we just need to converge it as well. Boom, we got it. That was easy. Now... We've got the fire lit. What do we do he next? Oh. We go up, I guess. And then down. Oh. Okay, so that raised everything up. I seem to be stuck. Huh. There we go. 
I don't know how I got stuck there, but I did. So my next best guess is... Well, there's got to be something to do with this thing here. My next best guess is that we have to go back through that room. Maybe not, because it looks like it just takes us to the entrance. Oh, I see something off in the distance this way. Ah, the next room. Oh. Wow. Big blank wall. Guess it's no wonder I couldn't see it. Now we are in a red star r red star room with little building monuments that make musical notes when you walk right up to them. There's a triangle here. I'm going to guess a triangle disappears at some point. Oh. Constellations, perhaps? That connects another one. What's this one do? I can... Oh, I walked right past it. Trying to look up at the constellation. Uh... I really gotta stop walking right past it. Oh, that undid that. Okay, let's try and find a way to redo it, maybe? Oh, that undid it again. I have honestly no idea what's going on with this. We have two doors. And I don't even remember which door we came in the first time at this point. Hmm. I'm going to go for this over here. I think I'm just completely undoing it. I seriously have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, you know, this this game has puzzles that don't ever explain themselves very clearly. Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Crisscrossing there. I think we're supposed to make a pattern with this. Possibly. Though I have no idea. Perspective is confusing. Either way, let's just mosey on through here. Okay. New music. We have this thing down here with ramps to the sides. We have a door there, a door there. We have ramps that go up. And we have a door there and an opening here. Not so much a door. Oh, I think I almost walked off the edge. This is weird. <laughs> this whole game is weird. 
Uh, looks like some of the ground collapsed in right here or something. Or broke away. Let's start with the topmost door, I suppose. And see what's... What's through here. We have a... Spherical dome of sorts. Do we have to activate that thing in order to access this thing? Hmm. I guess that must be the case. In which case, I have a feeling starting on the bottom floor is where we need to, well, start. Or... No. That doesn't trigger, so... Geometrically shaped doors. Yeah, we'll go through the rhombus shaped door first. It's quiet. Ah! And we look down, we can see something. And these things, no, nothing in this game does anything. There's no health, no... Like, if you fall, you don't die. This looks like water. Okay, it looks like water. But it's just gla... Just glass. Wait a second. This... Puzzle is going to require moving blocks to very specific grids, perhaps? I'm not sure. And, no, wait. Because if we walk around, the exact position of the block is relative to where we're looking at it. So the grid actually moves around a little bit for it. So, I need... Circle. Hmm. I wonder what that's about. Because we came in over... Oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to start pushing that. But we came in over there. I don't see any other way in or out. Although... Oh, wait. Do we have to get those to go in there, maybe? No, wait. I don't think it... Now, this is lowered, so I don't think that pushes up there any. There's got to be some... Oh, another one of these puzzles. So we just find the sweet spot, bring it together. Got it. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. We have to get this through there by bouncing it around on these balls. Or, the ball bounce around on the blocks. We have to position the blocks in such a way that it can. So if we do this right now, it, if I wouldn't fall down... Okay, if we do this right now as it is, what happens? The ball just goes rolling. Okay. When it hits one of these, it turns right. But it's not going to line directly up. We need... We need to line these blocks up in such a way that it makes four rights to get out of here. So... It's hard to see anything when you're pushing this thing. We push it as far as we can. Uh, no, that's just a little too far. 
is we have to be able to kind of guide, kind of guide it out. It's going to come through here, so it needs to hit this along over here a little bit. I think that will work. Uh, that one will follow this path and hit that, which will hit that. I actually need to line this one up. I can leave that one right where it is. I just need to push this back a few spaces. And I need to push it back a few more spaces. Okay, with that done, we are going to see really quickly if this even works. Okay, so it goes rolling and it's already not lined up. I'm going to need to move that to the side some, probably. Definitely. You see, that's one of the problems. You can't tell if it's lined up. Oh, oh. Okay. I have no idea what just happened. Okay, it just bounced back in right where I need it to be. Now let's see if we've got everything lined up again. Or this time. <laughs> Alright, let it roll. And see the result. It'll bounce there. And it'll continue on. Looks like it's going to make it right for it. I'm just going to follow behind and see how off-center everything is. Close enough. Now we go back this way. This one's too far that way. Okay. Let's try this again. And this time, I'm just going to watch from up here and make sure that it makes it. Well, I think it's more fun to follow it just a little bit. Or, well, kind of. I might need to move that over some just so that it's out of the way of the exit. But, hopefully if it gets caught in an infinite loop, Moving that out of the way can cancel the infinite loop. Because it's going to hit that. It's going to go this way. It looks like it's on course and it's going to pass. But does it fit? Does it make it? It does. We have one part of the puzzle complete. <laughs> uh, it looks like a block assembling thing and just sending the blocks on through. Cool. So that worked out well and with that I'm going to make my way back through this door. Wait. Was I moving faster there? Oh! Sprinting. Shift sprints. Move faster. Good to know. So, yeah, with that puzzle done, we're calling it... Oh, there they go. We're going to call it an episode. Don't forget to check the description below. Thank you all for watching, and God bless.